Hey you stream clippers, today I thought I would do a question and answer video for all of you answering all the questions that I get asked frequently and today my hubby is here to help me with this video and I know one of the questions that people have asked is what is my husband's name? Well it is hubbykins, that's what's written on my birth certificate so that's what I go by. No it's not, my real name is Kevin Williams and I support her the best I can in her couponing endeavors. So I'll be her bodyguard, her husband, her bank account, whatever it needs to be to con so that she can continue her couponing. How long have you been couponing? So I started couponing a few months after we got married. So now we've been married about two and a half years. So I've been couponing about two and a half years now. Yeah, it's gone by really fast. Yes, it has. It has gone by really fast, yes. Next question, where do you get your coupons? Well, most of my coupons I get from my couponing newspaper subscription from the Los Angeles Times newspaper. Um, I signed up for the newspaper using a coupon discount, so if I were to buy my newspaper at like CVS or Walgreens, something like that, it would be like $2.50 a paper. But I did sign up through the LA Times when they had a promotion. I had a little coupon code that came with my newspaper. So I got it at a discounted rate. So I get all of my coupons and coupon inserts from my newspaper subscription to the LA Times, which I love because it gets dropped off at my doorstep at 4 o'clock in the morning every Sunday. And I get to pick it up every morning. Yay! At 4 o'clock in the morning. He doesn't have to go get it at 4 o'clock in the morning, but by the time I get up to start getting my coupons and get ready for my couponing trip, it is nice when the papers are already inside the house. It makes things easier. And how do they get there? A magical fairy carries them from the porch into the house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. Exactly. That's how that works. <laughs> and as far as the other coupons, like my printable coupons, I print those from my couponing website, extremeclippers.com, where I post deals daily. So be sure to check that out for more deals. Print those coupons. And the next time we get an LA Times um, coupon code, I'll be sure to post that on my website to help you guys all out. And I do get and I do get on um, 10 papers delivered every Sunday. I did have to call to have my subscription increase to that amount. Because when I first signed up, they gave me one, I called, then they let me get five, and I was like, five isn't enough for the amount of couponing that I plan to do. So they let me increase this to ten, so I get ten every weekend, I get dropped off on my porch, and a little fairy flies in and brings them into my living room. That fairy's name is Hubby, a.k.a. Kevin. Kevin, yeah. yeah. The Kevin Fairy. Okay, I don't like that. Don't. If you ever see me, do not call me that. I'm going to have some words. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you store all of your stuff? We have an underground fort, um, somewhat like Fort Knox, and uh, that's where she stores her coupons. We have stockpile shelves where we wow. store all of the couponing stockpile. We also have storage in our house. So between the stockpile shelves, there's two of those. I used to have three, but it was like getting to be too much, so I took one down. And I try and limit myself so when I fill up the two shelves, I try and like go on somewhat of a couponing break or I'll like slow down. But when that didn't work, I went and I bought storage containers that are like 18 gallons. So my big giant storage containers hold shampoos, body wash, feminine products. So that helped me to add like more stuff to my stockpile shelves. And then yeah, so we have two stockpile shelves and then we have storage cabinets, well cabinets that we use for storage, so my husband and I each have our own personal cabinets of just like our own stockpile goods that we don't share with our family or friends. How does your husband feel about your couponing? I have mixed emotions. I do like that we save money. I do like that we have the items in the home. I don't like waking up early in the morning to film, but I know it just, it's its the way of the beast. It just when filming what? You haven't been up early with me in a long time. Um, and then when I ask him on Sunday mornings, like, can you go with me to Target? Sometimes he's like, I don't want to. Well, you I'm know, tired. sometimes it's against my religion to get up early on Sunday morning. 
before I eat breakfast, so that's maybe that may be why you actually see me giving faces in there like this. Cause I haven't eaten breakfast yet, that's why. But everybody knows the earlier you get to the store, the better deals that you get. And especially because I have to film and take photos while I'm shopping, I need to get there a little bit earlier. That's how I feel about couponing. I really do like it, but I just don't like the process of it. It can be a little time consuming, I do admit to that. But I have greatly improved since I started couponing. It's nowhere near as bad as it was when I first started. Yes, I do agree. I do agree with that. When I first started couponing, I had like no grip on reality, so <laughs> nothing. There nothing. was coupons all over the living room. I would buy stuff. It got to the point where you couldn't even see the floor in our living room because I had bought so much stuff. And at that time, we didn't have stockpile shelves. And my husband came home from work one day, and he was like, "You either pick all this up, or I'm throwing it out." So I found a deal on stockpile shelves, and so we put those together, and it's been much better. And I learned that you do not have to cut every single coupon. That's also what took me so long. So now I don't cut every coupon. So my prep time went from about four hours to about 45 minutes to hour, which is awesome. What is the best part of couponing? I would say the best part of couponing is when I get to the register and my total is $100, I use my coupons, my discounts, and I can save like 50% or more. Anytime I say 50% or more, I feel good. If I pay, if I say 75%, I'm like ready to do a dance. And then if I say like 99% or like almost like get everything completely free, I'm like beyond ecstatic. That is like the best part ever for me. So the best part for me, as you husbands may know, is that you still have greenbacks in your wallet. So yeah, money is really important to everybody. So I'm saving it, so yeah, that's the best part for me. Can I get things for free using coupons? Like almost anything that I want? Good question. Honestly, I would say it depends on the store and the deal that you're doing. Because the stores like CVS where you earn beauty bucks, it is very possible to get things dirt cheap or even free. Like they'll give you um, CVS coupons for a body wash, $10 off when you spend 40 and so if you save those like extra care bucks that you get, you combine them with coupons and sales and different incentives in the store, you can get things dirt cheap. Like when I went to CVS last week, no this week actually on Sunday, I got like eight bottles of Dove body wash between the men and the women's and I got some Right Guard deodorant and my subtotal was zero. But to get that deal, I use manufacturer coupons, I use extra care bucks that I already have from CVS, I use a $5 beauty bucks, extra care bucks that I got from CVS for buying like the $50 worth of beauty bucks products. I use that and then I had CVS coupons that were mailed to me for Dove products. So my subtotal was $0 and I got that. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. How much did I get back? I wasn't there. So I got back $17 in extra care bucks and I paid $3 for tax. So when I say like I got everything completely free, ultimately you're still going to pay tax regardless if your subtotal is zero, especially in California because they tax us for everything. So my subtotal was zero but I paid $3 worth of tax. So to me that's still, I still consider that as getting everything free because I only pay tax. So yes. You can almost get anything you want for free if you know how to do the deals. Use your coupons and use those store incentives to get your stuff dirt cheap or free. Have you been recognized as a couponer? You know, because of your social media? Yes, I have been recognized while out couponing. And I like to think of myself as a pretty humble person. So if you see me, feel free to come up and say hi or say, you know, Hi, my name is so-and-so, and I have met a few couponers in store, and they are really awesome. They're really great. I ran into one lady at CVS, and I mean at Target. We went to Target just to go get some Tazo tea, and a lady came up to me, and she goes, Oh my God, it's Darlene's coupons! And she, like, caught me off guard to it, like, startled me a little bit, startled my husband, and we're like, like, what's going on? Because that was, like, the first time I had really experienced that. But it was so cool because she was such a nice person. We had like a quick conversation. And you know, it's nice to get to know the faces behind the screen names. Between Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, I see a lot of different screen names all the time. 
And so it's really cool if you come up to me and you're like, hey, I'm so and so, I follow you on Instagram or I follow your YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. So if you see me, come up and say hi. And I have had people follow me through the store. That part's a little weird. Or I'll have like people that will pop around the corner of the aisle and they're like, they're like this. Is that her? Oh my god, it's her. That's her, that's her right there. <laughs> but, oh no, she's looking at me. So, I mean, like, I'm a really cool person. So if you see me, just come up and say hi. Like, you don't have to be scared, but please don't follow me. If you want to know, like, what deal I'm doing, you can come up and ask. And, you know, we can take a selfie. Oh, those are glasses. <laughs> we can take a selfie or, you know, have a quick conversation. I'm a really cool person. My husband's pretty cool, too, sometimes. So, I was delivering. That's I do have a secular job. This is not my job. Um, and the customer said, I feel like I know you. And I said, okay. Like, I felt like this is the first time I met that person. So, I'm guessing that that's what it was. That it was in social media or something that recognize me, recognize my face, so we're used to it, we're, we're pretty humble, and come say hi, because we know that you guys are genuine, you guys are really serious about saving money, and we're we're glad to help, so come say hi if you see us. Yeah, come say hi, wave, say, hey, what's up, Dara, what's up, hubby? Well, actually, his name is Kevin. It's Kevin now, like, now you know <laughs> it, it's out there, go ahead and call me Kevin, you call me hubby, you know, <laughs> the authorities might get involved, uh, you know, so. I can only have one wife. <laughs> oh my How do you save so much money at Target? Target is my best friend. Like, I love Target because I can use the Target cart oil, I can use Target coupons, I can use my manufacturer coupons, I can save money with my red card. I use the Shopkick app that every time I go to Target, I just open up my Shopkick app. It gives me points for going in the store and it gives me points for scanning stuff. That, and then I can turn all those points into free gift cards. So that's how I save so much money at Target. So I have a Target couponing one video and I'll post it down below in this video. And also, when you're shopping at Target, it's always important to remember that on one item that you can use four different ways to save. You can use your Target cart wheel, your Target coupon, you can use manufacturer coupons, and your Target red card, and not to mention gift cards. So that's actually like five different ways that you can save at Target. So that's how I save so much because I do my best to combine all of those deals. And then I'll look at like my cashback apps like Ibotta, Saving Star, um, all those different ones, and then I get cash back for what I buy too. So that's ultimately how I save so much money at Target. And last question. What do you do with rude cashiers? <laughs> with rude cashiers, I always do my best to be kind. Because I feel like you never really know what a person went through that day because maybe the couponer that they last had at the register was very rude or mean, or maybe they were trying to misuse coupons. You know I mean, I mean like, ultimately as a cashier, they should be nice and polite because their job is customer service. But you never know what someone's going through or whatever experiences that they've already had with another couponer. So if I meet a rude cashier, I always do my best to be very nice, very kind and respectful, you know. I make sure all my coupons match my items. I make sure, first of all, that I'm using the right coupons. And I always have like a nice little conversation. I always ask the cashier, you know, how is your day going? And if they ask, you know, how I got my deals or where I get my coupons, I always ask answer those questions. Because there's nothing wrong with being, you know, polite. And then when I go to my stores I have like my favorite cashiers that I talk to on the regular or the ones that recognize me. And it was funny, I went to Walgreens a few months ago and one of the cashiers asked me, she said, That's all you're getting? I said, Yeah, that's all I want today. And she said, We must not be having any good deals if that's all you're getting. So the reality is that we frequent the same stores over and over again. So if the cashier is upset or rude that day, we're more likely going to meet them again later on. And so why why feel why go away with any hard feelings? We're going to have that rapport with them. We're going to have a somewhat a business relationship with them because we frequent the stores often, and we're probably going to see them again later. So we keep it cordial, say hi, and try not to stress them out because sometimes couponing can stress cashiers out. Exactly. Um, about two weeks ago I went to Target 
and one of the cashiers, she must recognize me because I, I go to that Target often, and it, was, it really touched my heart because the cashier told me, she said, you know, I really want to thank you for always having the right coupons for your items. And for me, that like really made my day because I felt like not only did she recognize me, but she appreciated the effort that I go through to make sure that everything I do is legit, that I'm not misusing coupons, that all my coupons match. And I'm sure she appreciates that too because I've had other cashiers say that you know, someone that they work with got fired because they accepted coupons that were either fake, that they were copied, or the person misused them. And I feel like it's never worth it to cost someone their job. I, you know, I'm not going to misuse a coupon to save an extra 50 cents. That can cost someone their job. You know, you never know if they have a family, they have kids, they have responsibilities. So I would never want to do that to someone, and I would never want someone that, to do that to me. I feel like there has to be like a mutual respect, you know, all the way around. I do believe that. And I'm a strong believer that when you do good for others, it always comes back around. So if you're nice to someone one day, it will come back around. Maybe on the next transaction, the next day, they usually have a different attitude. Mm -hmm. And I, I appreciate that. So. so those are all of our questions. If you have any more, if you like this video, be sure to leave us a question or a comment down below. And if you have other qu couponing questions that you would like answered, post it down below or send me an email at daralovescoupons.ca at gmail.com and I will be sure to answer all of those. And maybe Hubby and I will do another couponing question and answer video for you. What do you think? I don't mind it. I kind of like it. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Bye, Stream Clippers. Hey, Stream Clippers. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this couponing video. Please leave me a comment or a video request down below and letting me know what you thought of this video. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, that way you never miss a deal. And check out my couponing website, ExtremeClippers.com. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, leave me a comment or a video request down below. Check out my couponing website, ExtremeClippers.com. And don't forget to subscribe to this Dara Loves Coupons YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, Extreme Clippers.